Hello, my lovely cellos. I wanted to make a video today to just describe what I was um, trying to talk to you about, just in case you really were not able to hear me and follow along today because I know my internet is really not the best. So, cellos, this is for you. We're looking at section 11 in Gaelic Castle. So go ahead and take your music out in Gaelic Castle. And um, what was really important today is I reviewed the practice strategies we've talked about so far, and I started with one new strategy that I think is going to be very helpful. Um, so far, we've done chunking as a practice strategy a lot. That's when we break it into pieces and we do one measure and stop, one measure and stop, something like that, or two measures or four measures or sometimes all eight. Once we're ready, once we really have finished it, we can do all the way through. Sometimes, though, most of it's easy except, say, one measure. Like, I would say, in this case, in section 11, probably the hard part is, like, switching between pizzicato and bow. So if I know there's one thing that's hard and the rest of it's pretty easy, I'm going to isolate that. I just take that one little chunk and just practice the hard part over and over and over again. Sometimes that's the best way to go because it's like, okay, it's pretty easy most of the time. I just need to practice that one thing. So that's another practice strategy we talked about last week, Okay. I think in this case, <clears throat> I think that's going to be the most helpful thing here. So let's try that strategy for the cellos. So um, there was another strategy I was going to talk about, but I don't think it's very applicable yet. So let's save that for you guys for next time. So I'm going to actually start at measure 14. And you'll notice that measure 14 is still pizzicato, but then measure 15, it changes to arco. So I want to practice that. It's going to go like this. The note is high D in measure 14, and it goes D, D, switch. So let's practice that. Switching from pizzicato high D to arco with the bow, D and D together. One, two, 14, go. Switch. 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 One more. And. Okay. Now, if that's too fast, you can always chunk your isolations. Okay. So if my goal here is 14 to 15, I'm going to chunk that into one measure chunks. Okay. It was a two measure goal. Now we're going to split it into one measure, but we're still going to do two measures but put a gap, put a rest, give you extra time to switch. This time I'm going to give you two beats to switch. Here we go. One, two, 14, go. Switch, play. Switch, play. Switch, play. Switch, play. Switch, play. Last one. Switch, play. Okay. One more step to that is to make it a little bit faster. Instead of having switch, play, you're just going to have switch. You're just going to have one beat now. So it's going to go faster, switch. The rhythm is still the same, though. Ready? 14, go. Oh, sorry. Pizzicato first. One, two, here we go. Switch. I'm sorry, that was zero beats. That was no that was no no space. Let me give you an actual space. One, two, fourteen, go. Switch. That's kind of weird. Honestly, it's easier without any switch in between, so we can still feel the rhythm. So let's just try it now. There's no uh, no beats of rest. However, because measure 14 has half notes and it's pizzicato. It almost feels like it's pluck, rest, pluck, rest. So you have that space where you're just... You do almost have a beat of rest because you're playing a half note and it's pizzicato, okay? So here's 14. We're going to do 14 and 15. I'm just going to do it three times and the video's done. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, again, go. One, two, last one, go. All 
right, now let's do all of section 11. 11 to measure 19. Here we go. One, two, 11, go. Switch. Switch. And you're ready for pizzicato at 19. So like the notes in this piece are probably not that hard for cellos, but there's so much switching between arco and pizzicato. It's really worth taking time to practice that. So please spend some time practicing that by isolating measures 14 and 15. All right. Thank you for being great students.